my hungry friends, today we're making Polish babka. I'm making Polish babka today. I have five yolks in here. I've separated the yolks from whites and keep them uh, in a separate bowl. I'm gonna get to this in a minute. And then I'm gonna add some sugar to this and beat until fluffy. My eggs and sugar have been beating for about a couple, three minutes. Uh, the sugar is still not completely melted, but at this point I'm gonna add melted butter. And the butter was melted and now it had cooled off a little bit. So let this go for just a couple minutes until your sugar melts. And I'm just gonna scrape off the sides a little bit and let it go for another minute or so. Okay, this, I used cane sugar uh, today. You can use normal white sugar also. Um, I'm gonna change the beater because at this point I will add flour and I have all-purpose three-quarter uh, three-quarter cup of all-purpose flour and also three-quarter cup of potato flour and I know potato flour is hard to get in America so you can use or um, cornstarch and also I have a couple tablespoons a uh, couple teaspoons of baking powder so that goes in and we will mix this for until just until combined. And I also have some vanilla here, some vanilla extract. So I'm gonna just add a little bit too. And I have zest of one lemon that goes in. And we want to mix this just until combined. So Polish babka is a traditional uh, sweet cake and there's many varieties of it. This is the simplest recipe for one uh, in Polish. It's called babka piaskowa uh, and it means sand babka. And I believe the name of it comes from the texture of the cake. It's kind of crumbly uh, and soft on the inside. So I'm just gonna clean up quick. And from here, we have to whisk the egg whites and they'll be folded into our, uh, our batter. So I'm just gonna pause for a second and be right back. So I used an electric beater to, uh, to beat my whites and these uh, were in there for about three minutes until they're pretty stiff. And now the idea of the white, of beating the white separately is to make the, the batter more airy. So then it will make our cake a little bit lighter and, uh, and more tasty. So I'm gonna remove this now and this will just get folded in by hand. We don't wanna get the whites to a point where they are no longer fluffy. So it's probably best to do this by hand. So, and this we have to be really gentle with this. You can very easily use the hand blender for the for the whites, obviously. So this is uh, this cake that we're making today, babka. Um, is normally we eat it a few times a year in my home but it's it's always with us with us at Easter uh, it's one of those that if you think Easter you have to have one 
And uh, as I said, I'm making this sand babka today. But my favorite that we'll make in a few weeks <clears throat> is marble babka. We will take half of this batter out at once it's mixed and mix it with cocoa. But this one's also tasty. If you see, this is not, um, it's not right away this will combine, but just give it, be patient with it and fold it in slowly. And I hope your oven is heating by now, because as soon as this is done, we'll pop it into the oven and bake it. During Easter in Poland, we would take a piece of this cake and put it in, um, in a basket along with a piece of sausage, a piece of bread, um, a boiled egg, some salt and pepper. This is for, um, for people who are religious. And a basket like that on, on the Saturday before Easter would be taken to church for mass and get blessed by the priest with holy water. And uh, Saturday before Easter is normally meatless for Poles. When we were kids, my brother and I, we would go to church with our basket and then on the way back try to eat the babka without anyone knowing that there was any missing. Well, everybody knew. <laughs> but it's really, uh, it's a very uh, specific Polish tradition. I've never seen that done anywhere else. When we, uh, when we lived in America with my husband, um, uh, we were in Pennsylvania area with a large po Polish population. There was a church that did that or does it still. But other than that, I've not seen it anywhere. And we've, we've lived all around the country with my husband being in the service. So this is almost combined. You have a few more turns. And if you see a, a couple of the pieces of the white in here, that's OK. You don't want to overwork this, but you can see it's a lot, um, it's a lot thinner, the dough now, and we can get our pan ready. So I have this, I have this bundt cake pan here. It's been with me for a while. It's a little wore out, but I like it, so I keep using it. And here in Poland, we, Grease our pan with a little bit of butter, and then we sprinkle breadcrumbs into it. This is a pan that you can't really line with parchment because it's got all these creases in there. So this is a good uh, good method if you want to try it. So I'm just, you just have to work with your hands on this one. So you take a little bit of butter in there, and it's probably better if your butter is soft. And I'm just gonna work that in here into the creases. You want the whole thing covered. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we will take a couple tablespoons of breadcrumbs. And I will show you in a minute, just on the bottom. And then I'm going to swirl this thing around so it coats my pan anywhere the, ba the batter is going to be. Even on the inside, this guy, around this guy, we got to get that up there too. That's pretty good. And I'm just gonna toss the rest you just trying to knock off and then just discard. So our pan is ready. 
And all we're gonna do now is just put the batter in, kind of evenly around. It'll sit in the oven and you can eat. This is a last minute dessert. And just even it out. And it goes in the oven. Three fifty and it goes. So it's been forty minutes and we're gonna check it with a toothpick. If it comes out clean, we're done. Our babka has been cooling for about 20 minutes. You want it, uh, you want to take it out of the pan while the pan is still warm so the butter around it doesn't solidify and keep the cake in. But it's cool enough now that I can handle it. So I'm just gonna put a plate over the pan gently. See how it comes out right away. And this pan has this kind of groovy design in it. But I kind of like how rustic it looks on the outside, so I serve it this way. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything else to it. I like my babka plain, uh, but you could do a chocolate glaze on it if you like it extra sweet, or you can do a mixture of powdered sugar and water. Just take a cup of uh, powdered sugar in a bowl, um, squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in there and start uh, mixing and then add a water teaspoon by teaspoon until you get it into a nice consistency. I'm not going to do that because I think this is sweet enough on its own and it's got this awesome flavor that I don't want to cover up with anything else. So I'm just going to cut a slice and it's super soft and you can see it's cooked all the way through. It's got a nice brown ring around it. And you see how it's crumbly. That's why we call it Piaskova, sand babka. I'm gonna take a small bite out of it. I mean, it's super soft. You can taste a little bit of lemon juice in it. And a really, really simple recipe for sweet bread babka. I hope you try it. And if you like this video or any of the others, please subscribe to my channel. Smachnego! He's really good. <laughs>